How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? My name is The Starks, and welcome to a brand new The Last of Us video. The Last of Us remake footage leaks online with no gameplay improvements claimed. On an article provided by Video Games Chronicle, they state that footage and comparison images from The Last of Us Part 1 has also emerged online, especially on Twitter. I would know because I've seen most of them as posted uh to reset era the images which have been mirrored on emger showed off joel's brother tommy test and a brief clip of the game's opening sequence it's also been claimed by the person who leaked the images that the game has and i quote no gameplay improvements and that the upgrades are primarily to animate as part of me animation and audio it was widely speculated that The Last of Us Part 1 would adopt The Last of Us Part 2's improved movement and shooting mechanics. The game reportedly supports VRR and will feature two visual modes, a gameplay mode which will run at 4K 40 frames per second and a dynamic mode which will run at 4K 60 frames per second. While it's unclear where these leaks have emerged from, it should be noted that prior to the release of The Last of Us Part 2, I'm sure we all know, huge spoilers floated around the internet and long gameplay clips including pivotal plot points um, and scenes were posted uh, to social media well in advance of the release of The Last of Us Part 2. The source of that leak was eventually believed to be a QA tester who had been testing the game at home due to the obvious COVID pandemic restrictions, which had just begun uh, as The Last of Us Part 2 was being tested in early 2020. Now, the leak here also claims that the game will feature the large number of accessibility options featured in the last of us part two and that uh, when the player upgrades their weapons this will be represented visually and that pretty much sums up the article here now they show off a bunch of uh, clips showing or pardon me uh, photos showing the differences between uh, the last was part one and last was part two i imagine i'll be okay to put some of these screenshots on my video however spoiler warning if you don't want to see it i'm going to put it up around this this point in time um but most of this video will be gameplay or footage that's been released by sony and playstation nonetheless um now i have a lot of thoughts first of all i think naughty dog is in some serious trouble here because i'm seeing multiple people a lot of people quite frankly on twitter complaining and mad about this um and what i find so fascinating about all of this in particular is because me as a fan of naughty dog and, and playstation and the last one series in particular on the get-go for a guy who makes the last was content on youtube primarily is that i saw no reason for naughty dog to make this remake and i still don't i still do not and you know although i feel that way i feel like i was still gonna pick up this game and i think i still am i don't know what people were expecting i wasn't expecting much but after what i've seen from from some of this gameplay i think it looks all right i you know there's people are complaining about how the animation of joel hitting and there's no gameplay improvements you can't prone apparently you can't dodge apparently i mean who cares i mean i didn't really prone in the game anyway and there's you got to remember there wasn't a lot of prone like there, there's when are there a lot of opportunities to prone in the game a lot of this you're in the city when you prone you, i mean you're going to be seen right the lighting conditions in this game i like you got to remember the last was part part one and part two's uh environments are completely different you're, you're playing in seattle you're playing in a lot of tall green lush environments uh even when you were in the city playing as ellie in the last was part two so uh, whereas the last was one kind of focuses on more uh, like in the Boston, Philadelphia area, I believe. I mean, sure, they branch off to to other states and whatnot. But my point is, like, I don't think there's a lot of opportunity for Joel and Ellie to to prone and and dodging. I mean, that's really hard to implement. Um, so I, I I personally don't understand what people were expecting. Um, because on the get go, I I think this remake was unnecessary, and I think it was a waste of a lot of resources and efficiencies and money and people involved. And I don't know why Naughty Dog is charging seventy USD for people to play a hardly a decade old video game I, I i a few weeks ago i saw a bunch of developers in particular naughty dog um get a little too prideful with their game and say you know this is the most ambitious thing as this article says um which is fine that's cool but then they're like it's not a cash grab it's not a cash grab. it is a cash grab come on you guys are paying 70 dollars usd that's over a hundred that's with tax that's over a hundred dollars canadian for a game that i already own on both ps3 ps4 and that's not including a multiplayer right so i don't know why naughty dog gets so prideful sometimes like it is a cash grab like i i'm I, I, I personally 
that's what I think. And I'm not too upset about the gameplay. There's there being a lack of gameplay improvements in particular because I actually struggled quite a bit on the Last of Us Part 2's gameplay. I think there is a little bit of a drastic difference between Part 1 and Part 2, not only graphically, not too much graphically, a little bit graphically, but also, well, quite graphically. I mean, you look, and there is qu there is quite a huge difference, but I mean, for me, it wasn't the biggest difference. But gameplay, it was because I'm playing it, and I'm supposed to be immersed in this world, and there's a huge difference between Part 1 and Part 2's gameplay. And that is a reason, a strong reason as to why Naughty Dog wanted to make this Part 1 version. Not only because there's going to be newcomers from The Last of Us HBO series, who... We'll play the last, the most latest Last of Us version, which is the remastered version, and then go to part two and be like, whoa, this is like completely, like, what happened here? But also to probably, you know, change some scenes and make it a little bit more appropriate for the Last of Us part two's narrative, which is completely fine. And I really, I really hope that Naughty Dog does, you know, add some scenes or change some things up to really enhance the, the not only visual, but representative storytelling, both in part one as well as part two. Be otherwise, I think this remake would be pointless. So I don't know if it's just gameplay and, and well, obviously they, they say there's lack of gameplay improvements, but I saw the gameplay and it looks, it looks refined. It does look like there's a lot more of a realistic mobility and, and fluidity to Joel's movement, which I didn't totally love in part two gameplay anyway. Like I said, I, I'm a huge fan of The Last of Us and I play The Last, I, over, I have over a thousand hours in The Last of Us Remastered alone. Um, and I, and I started on PS3, by the way. So I have a lot of hours in this game and I love and I don't have it platinum yet. I'm I'm working on it, but um, but anyhow, I love the gameplay. I know a lot of people have issues with it, and there are some flaws to it, no no less. But I really enjoyed the gameplay, and like I said, it was a huge jump for me going to part two. So I I know a lot of people were upset about this, uh, for good reason. I mean, seventy dollars is quite a lot of money, especially for a game that isn't including any prone options or dodge options. And I and I don't I I don't want to make this video too upset. Or disappoint anybody I think you should wait for yourself don't 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 let this be the last of part two where I you know I, I put out this video and people are like well I'm not gonna buy it oh Joel something happens to Joel I don't want to play it anymore and all these different things right like play it for yourself evaluate your money and see if it's worth it um, to get this remake and unfortunately I think Naughty Dog like I said, is in trouble. I, I think there's a huge issue with their security at Naughty Dog. What is why are there leaks happening left, right, and center every time they have a major game come out? It's they really need to focus on PlayStation needs to help them or somebody needs to help them at, at, to really strengthen their networking um, and, and ensure that these these security breaches don't happen. And I, and I know a QA guy released it himself, so. Uh, but but you have to have some form of integrity here. I mean, you you can't just because and I know Naughty Dog hires a lot of people, but when you do that, you risk a lot. You risk a lot because you don't know these newcomers. And I'm not I'm suggesting that every new person for onboarding is bad or anything. Um, that's not the case. In fact, you might find. A lot of well-rounded people but my point is that they really need to fix themselves to ensure that these leaks don't happen now i'm extremely curious to think um to know what everybody um who's po possibly watching this video thinks about the last of us remake so far have you seen the footage and if so do you think after wa seeing it that you're gonna buy the last of us um do you think that the graphical difference is good enough for you or, or do you wish that night dog was doing a lot more in terms of mechanics and gameplay wise to to i suppose support your decision in buying the game i think graphically part the remake looks amazing i think like just the, i'm watching these photos and comparisons which i'm gonna have on screen for you guys here i mean the difference is just night and day not only the lighting and the, the, the you can actually see the the facial it, detail and expression a lot more better due to the lighting and, and just the graphical um overhaul like it just it looks really really good the difference is just night and day like i'm looking like at an older movie back to a new movie it, that, that that's the difference here for me uh that's what the difference looks like here um but gameplay wise i think it looks similar to part two a little too similar but that there's not enough changes in terms of mechanics that, and a lot of people are upset about that but i'm curious to what you guys think in the comment section below so remember to leave that a comment or two if you'd like and i'd probably reply uh with that being said uh, thank you so much for watching this the last of us remake uh breakdown video um and with that being said i've been the starks peace